Hello, I've made it to Taiwan. I had uh, two flights to take, so one from Norway to Dubai, which was about six and a half hours, and I had a four hour layover in Dubai, and my flight left for here at 3.40 a.m. Dubai time, and it's now about six o'clock, 10 past six here in, in uh, Taiwan. I uh, yeah, just arrived, the hotel is beautiful. I'll switch it around and have a little look at it, but just about to go out for dinner with the owner of Kuhn Taiwan and Hazel and his family. And I think like the whole family's coming, the wife, the children, the stepchildren, the granddaughter, everything. So um, I'll be interested. Um, my lights are going off. But right, I'm just gonna uh, give you a quick view of what's going on, I'll switch it all around. Nice, very nice bathroom, vanity area, well, say bathroom, shower shower room, got some mirrors, coffee and tea, TV, good air con thank god and a massive huge bed, absolutely huge, see what the view's like outside, wow that is uh, some special building there, that's a lobby to something, um, yeah I'm on the ninth floor, it's not pretty high, it's about so it's about quarter past six here now, and it's uh, about 30 degrees, very, very, very humid. But it's just so, uh, driving in is so densely populated. High rises for like the, the whole 50 minute drive from the airport to here. I thought we were right in high pace straight away, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and have some, I'm gonna go and have some dinner with everybody, and then I'm gonna try and get an early night and get back onto this time zone. First I'm gonna have a shower. So just got back from uh, our meal, our dinner with the guys uh, from Taiwan Kuhn. And uh, we went to a place called 47, which is a restaurant on the 47th floor of a building not far from here. Um, probably in like five minutes away. But it was absolutely stunning. We had our own room, a big round table, and they brought out lots of good food. Um, showed off my chopstick skills, which apparently were actually all right, which I was quite impressed with. Um, and ate some amazing food, beef and squid, octopus, um, and really lovely soup, uh, prawns, there's so much stuff there. And of course they always they wanted me to try everything, but everything was absolutely divine. Probably the best sort of Chinese Asian food I've ever had and the view was spectacular. 47th floor just looking out all glass all around us. Our own room with our own waitress. It was blown away, it was absolutely amazing. And uh, Taipei is absolutely stunning city. This It um, looks very clean, um, it, it looks like it's very bustling, it doesn't, but it doesn't look too overcrowded from what I thought coming into the city. I thought it's gonna be really, really crazy, like busy, busy everywhere and dirty because it's just so much high rise and stuff, but actually it's really, really beautiful. I'm really surprised of it so far. Uh, I really can't wait uh, tomorrow early start and then we're going to go and um, uh, go and look at Taipei 101 which is another building not far away from here it's got 101 floors and there's an observation bit at the top uh, we just drove past it so that looks really cool um, I'm really excited and really looking forward to it I can't wait for the shows um, the team are all lovely the people that own the, own the company are fantastic it's just I couldn't wish for a, for a for better first uh, introduction to everyone if I say I'm going to get into this big bed now get some sleep and get ready. Morning, here I am at Kuhn offices in Taipei for Taiwan. I'm um, in the main office, gonna do a, uh, an interview with the uh, press, newspaper, in a minute to talk about men's uh, fashion and uh, the, uh, the barber industry in the UK and all that kind of stuff and what we're gonna be doing with 1922 by JMQ. So that's really exciting. Um, the offices are really quite impressive here in the big high-rise building downtown. They're having a big meeting next door, but breakfast was also amazing. I'm going to uh, take the camera down tomorrow morning for breakfast at this hotel. Uh, like the dumplings and the rice balls and all that kind of stuff, just unreal. Anyway, um, I'm going to get on with this interview. I might be able to get a bit of filming done today whilst we're prepping and all the rest of it, but big show tomorrow. This is here, set up, ready for all my press interviews this morning. Got the lights, all the uh, 1922 products everywhere. Big backdrop, wrestling mic. Keen for using that. And this is in one of the rooms by the offices. I wanna know where my hair and makeup is. Looks so good. 
I was just about to get into bed and I realised I hadn't done my vlog update for the rest of the day. So um, I think the last thing I did was talk about, um, I think it was when we were having lunch and we had the Japanese food which was absolutely excellent. I uh, went back to the academy and we got on with um, we got on with doing all of the models hair, well two of the models hair for, t for tomorrow. We coloured both their hair, we have worked with a couple of the guys from Taiwan team who one lightened the hair a little bit. He already had it lightened slightly on uh, it grown out about about two months regrowth. So we we took it back to the roots of that and lightened it all over to a base. I think it was about base six or seven. And then through the other guy's hair, we did uh, freehand sort of highlights, uh, sort of six one nine ish, um, and created just to show off the texture because the hair is so dark. When we create a lot of texture, it's quite hard to show it off sometimes. So that helped us uh, show off the texture we created with the cuts. We'd like a contour cut tapered in front of the ear with some length left through the back. Um, and then the other guy who had the lighter hair all over, he was tapered in at the back, we left some length through the sides and he had like a, a, like a, a longish fringe with some uh, shorter disconnected layers around the crown. So there's a couple of different looks. And we got that done, we got out of there about 6 o'clock and we went to another amazing food place. I mean the food here is just unbelievable. We went to a Thai place and I got to try soft shell crab, which was absolutely excellent. So today I've had soft shell crab, which I've never had before. I had uh, salmon fish eggs, which was actually really good. And I had sea urchin as well, which was okay, but it tasted a little bit like I instantly got taken back to when I was in Hawaii and that taste of being in the warm sea. I mean, I suppose it's a sea creature. So, but yeah, with, with a bit of a different texture, but yeah, so, but anyway, it's all a really, really good day. Um, bit jet lag kind of hit me a little bit this afternoon. Um, I'm about to get into bed now, in my big bed, and get ready, get some sleep. I'm gonna hit the gym in the morning and get ready for the big day. I don't have to get there. I'm not getting picked up till 10 o'clock, so I've got plenty of time for breakfast and hitting the gym. Just been writing uh, my blog and uh, writing some bits and pieces for when we go to Sweden in September because we're going to Swedish Barber Expo again and I'm going to be doing some stuff for Fit for Vikings on the main stage and holding the workshop so I had to write a couple of descriptions but yeah all in all very good trip good day Taiwan's amazing let's have a little look out the window and say yeah uh, say good night Good morning from Taiwan. I'm still in Taipei. I'm just about to go down for breakfast. I've been to the gym, which was in another building around the corner, uh, which, I don't know, it was meant to be turn left, turn left again. I walked around around the block about three times and it was in another building, like right up on like the sixth floor or something. But it's pretty impressive gym. And they had pictures of uh, The Rock in there because he trained there when they filmed Journey to whatever it was, Journey to Center Earth 2 or whatever. So yeah, he, he trained in there, so it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty impressive gym, massive. So we go down to breakfast. I said I'd film a little bit of the breakfast to see some of the different things that we have down there. Um, so yeah, oh, it's gonna be dark. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, head down now, and then it's the day of the big show. Starting off with a bit of fruit, and one of these steam buns, which are amazing. So good. On a double espresso. This is the breakfast. There was a day special there yesterday that was like a prawn toast, I suppose. Like a fresh one. More buns, apparently this one's a sweet one. This one's savoury, it has like meat in the middle, but I don't know what that has. Vegetables, Chinese omelette, chicken sausages, and some rice ball thing, and two coffees.
What a transformation. <laughs> what a transformation. Hi. Hi. Wow, it looks a bit different from this this morning, right? There's <laughs> Scott. <laughs> It's my boys getting ready backstage. They're running through some final rehearsals. Who even knows what's going on? So kicking off backstage, everyone's getting ready for final bits and pieces. Okay. I haven't seen any of this because I've been stuck in my little room out of the back. VIP uh, room in the room we're doing our work in. I uh, we've just been through some rehearsals, like the third lot of rehearsals, and um, I've got to do. <coughs> I've got to go on stage, do 30 minutes doing cutting with the guys. Got two models. Uh, I'm going to do a long hair clipper cut, my JRL uh, fresh fade 1050s, and I'm going to do uh, uh, the rest of a fade on like a crop and take the fringe out uh, by slicing it all out with my uh, quartz seals. And the guys are out here. We just literally, we lost them again, have we? Hey. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> What's going on here? No worries. We're practicing. Yee. Here come the boys. Stop practice spot apparently. We're doing some practicing. So far so good, I think it's all going good. I'm just gonna follow that guy. He can uh, decide where we're gonna go and when. This is my crazy room where I've been doing the hair with the many mirrors. Insane. It's actually spam out a little bit, but good for checking fades and stuff. So I think the uh, doors are opening up now. People coming in, getting their gift bags at the back with all their products and stuff in. It's gonna fill up, there's about 350 people tonight. All changed, ready, backstage. My beautiful assistant is just straightening my uh, my little hair for me, making it all shiny. And we've got all the guys back here. <laughs> hey, these are the guys, the Taiwan hardcore oh, barber shop. Every barber, this is Stevie, my body. This hey. is me, this is me. <laughs> Your work was awesome today, guys. Yeah. Very good, very good. Thank you. 
Let's see what's going on over here. Here's the boys. Hello, boys. Hi. What the? made it to the next city I um, the show went I think went really well Lewis the guy who did the uh, um, translation for me was excellent he was a really cool guy he's gonna be here um, here tomorrow with us at the show it's like a lot of his barbers now are gonna be doing this stuff uh, which is really cool I just made it to my other room went on a bullet train so me and Hazel went on a bullet train she carried on home so she's gone to her house tonight which is nice for her and I just met Helen and her husband Ted at the uh, train station. They picked me up, brought me to my hotel. I've got like a big suite thing, which is real nice. And it's got one of these, um, I'll, I'll switch around, you can have a quick, a quick look at it. Um, so a nice big bed, all the rest of it. Not quite as modern as the last place, but still pretty good. But it has got one of these crazy toilets with all the, uh, the toilet seat, which gives you a spa, bum spa, that. See, for me, that says bum spa and a face spa. Either that or it's a happy face spa. Either way, I'm not quite sure, but um, we'll see. Good night. Good morning. It's a bit bright today. Just uh, had a real bad night's sleep, really. Um, the bloke, there's a bloke, I assume, someone in the room next to me was snoring big time and I, I fell asleep quite as well pretty much as soon as I got in and I woke up because I needed the toilet and then this bloke was snoring and I just couldn't get back to sleep so um, I had a little bit of a uh, not as much sleep as I would like it was a busy day yesterday I got a real busy day ahead today as well because we got to start at 8.30 which is in an hour's time and I'm doing models until uh, I think the show finishes I don't think I was on stage till 8.30 tonight so we've got six models prepping, cut, uh, the colour's already been done, and then I've got to do the cuts. So, I mean, there's plenty of time, but um, with rehearsals and lots of going on, it's going to be a long day. But I'm in a new city. Uh, apparently, this city is very small compared to Taipei. And uh, I'm on the 18th floor of the hotel. I took a photo last night, but you can't really see much, you just feel the light. Um, if I switch around, you can see what my view is pretty spectacular and this is a small city and there's something like 23 24 million people living on the island it's crazy there's a lot of people in a very small space I'll go grab something to eat get some breakfast apparently the food's excellent here also so we're gonna go and do that and uh, get picked up in about half an hour Make my way over to the office. <laughs> yes. We're a legend. <laughs> Yes, 
Hey boys. <laughs> Where's my OG? Yes. Slicks. I mean, it was a great venue. I mean, I filmed a bit of it, so you would have seen some of it already. But it was an amazing, amazing show, amazing people. My models were really cool. They were, I had like, one was a punk rock drummer, one was like a, a dancer, did like body popping and like finger dancing. And one of them was like a yo-yo, professional yo-yo player. Uh, one of them was, I don't know why my lights just gone off. One of them was a, um, what the hell, I'm getting my phone, I'm getting my phone call. I mean, this guy here. I wonder who that is. Hello? Do I need a morning call? Um, yeah, why not? Can I have one at... Uh, I will need one at 6.30. Is that okay? Free and no password. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. They're going to give me a wake-up call. I mean, who has a wake-up call nowadays? I mean, we've got mobile phones and alarms. I don't even know why I asked for one. But yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, I am... Um, yeah, all my models were amazing. Really, really cool. Um, cool guys. The, Lewis was there again, the guy who did the um, translation for me. He's amazing. Definitely going to hang out with him a bit more over the last couple of days. I'm here for another three days. I've got a seminar tomorrow. I am... Um, I'm here, arrived, the, the offices are just, uh, headquarters just over the road from here, so nice easy place. I'm actually here for three nights, and this room is actually epic. I'm going to turn it around, it's probably the best room, but I'd say it's probably definitely the best room that I've ever been in. So, big mirror, you can see TV, office, oh, and uh, uh, I just got bought McDonald's because we haven't eaten anything because we've been doing the show, which is cool. Uh, office area. Nice chair, nice big double bed, and there's the bathroom with a big glass window. I think it's, yeah, it's a big glass window. So if you were here with somebody else, you could watch them in the shower or watch them taking a dump. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, eat this burger before it gets cold and go into the size of that bar. That's a bath that I might actually get in. But yeah, cool. I'm gonna uh, eat this burger and get into bed. Good night again. Good morning from Kaohsiung. This is the last city of the tour. 
Um, last night I didn't get here till about half 12. Like I said, uh, up at 6.30. Just gone down for breakfast. Um, shed a little bit of light on the uh, on the view this morning now. It's apparently it's a much smaller city, but it's a lot hotter because we're right down by the equator. It's even more humid today. Um, looking forward to today. I've just got a class on, um, although there is going to be, uh, I think there's nearly 60 people on this class. So I've got to do a seminar this morning. Um, and then we've got a break and then I've got another models due after lunch and then they've got like an hour and a half, two hours to do their their uh, blocks but I think that's like 60, 60 people on it so it's going to be a busy day, it's going to be hard work but it's the last day of doing this and then tomorrow I've got a day off so um, I'll have a lie in and uh, we're going to see a Buddhist temple tomorrow which I'm really excited about and then I think I might be going to see Lewis um, or Lewis is going to come to this city, Kaohsiung and uh, we're going to, uh, he's going to take me and show me some other bits and pieces and have some dinner or something. So that'll be really cool. Looking forward to today. I'll uh, try and get some shots, but with 60 guys there, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to be able to get any footage. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll get some footage. Pretend you had a good day. <laughs> cool. Thank you ever so much. Good morning from uh, Taiwan. I'm still here. I don't know. Uh, last night, yesterday we did a class. It was um, there were 72 people on it. I did three demos, and then we did um, in the afternoon. So I did two demos. Then we broke for lunch. Then in the afternoon I did another demo, and then I coached them through a haircut. Uh, they got to choose which one of the three haircuts I did that they would then do, so I had to coach them with a block, mannequin head on stage, and they all had them at their desks. Um, and it was it was a full on day, but it was really good, the class were excellent, really, really good students. Um, and then we went for sushi at this really nice Japanese place, and uh, tried all sorts of stuff, different fish and eel, and uh, had subshell crab again, which was really good. And um, and then we went to a, <clears throat> and we went to a, like a, a big shopping mall, which was hectic, massive, really, really cool. But we went to this place called Jason's Supermarket and it had all, um, had a load of Waitrose stuff in there. So it had all like English jam and Jamie Oliver stuff and all this crazy stuff, which is a bit weird to see. But they're one of the girls, um, the daughter of the owner of, uh, of one of the Kuhn guys wanted to take me down there to show me that. So that was pretty cool. Uh, picked up a couple of bits to bring home and uh, I'll show you actually what picked up a couple of just a couple of little bits and pieces these little koala biscuity things for the guys back home these oops, which are chili flavored hard boiled quail eggs apparently they're pretty popular so yeah that and some milk puff whatever that is and these Taiwanese rice cake completely different from our rice cakes but yeah so I've got a few bits of pieces to take home which is cool and uh, yeah today I'm going to see a temple so a Buddhist temple so that's really cool really looking forward to that I'm just about to meet Hazel now I'm just about to go down to the front and, uh, and meet her which is the front over there but yeah Hopefully I'll show you some of them. So here we are at the Buddhist Temple, uh, Temple Museum, I think. It's, it's like a big shopping mall. First thing you see when you walk through the door is Starbucks. So uh, it's 
obviously not a uh, this is obviously not the original part of the temple. But uh, just getting a Starbucks, getting an iced coffee, iced brew, and then we're going to go and see what's uh, what there is to see. But it's not gold, the Buddha is made of steel and bronze. Uh, the Buddha is 40 meter high, underneath is a building 30, uh, 36 floor. So it's called the big Buddha, 180 meter high. Some people think this is a way to come in here to greet each other with the lotus flower. Yeah. Yes, it's a beautiful, because lotus flower is symbolizing Buddhism purity. As you see, lotus flower is growing up in the muddy water, dirty water, but still, can you see when it's bloomed out? It's so beautiful. It's also when many master students also say, joy is joy, not every day we have fun and have a happy day. Sometimes we also struggle, uh, struggle, worry, depression, any kind of things that makes you feel struggling. But still, you can choose this nutrition. You need this to growing up. If life would be not impermanent, when life is like ever, never changing, you wouldn't grow up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so everybody is in a different level of uh, learning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, place to sit down. This, this is the start where the groom's family sitting. Uh, this is the bride's family, so father, brother, sister, everyone coming here along. So this is a venue maybe for 100 people. It's a small one but very pretty one. Yes, and the love couple one coming to inside. We have a table door, it's available, it's like every sitting there. And giving the new fresh couple a few Dharma words, how can they act accordingly, how can they respect each other. You can do good, speak good and think good. Yes, try to live in good uh, harmony and joy in home. Yes, and let's embrace this master master one. Uh, here yeah, we can yeah. put them for every people from the West that like to doing this because every year yeah. available master shouldn't yeah. write one blessing. Yeah. And this is the year of the dog. And what is a dog? When you think about a dog, what do you think? When you loyalty. have a dog, yes, loyalty, honor. And a dog is always happy when you come back home, even if you had a bad day, if you're moody. The dog always take you as you are, so we need to learn also to treat people with loyalty and honor. Okay, I think this is my, this is my very, my first time I'm doing that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. And then, I am okay. too. Okay, then we yeah. mm -hmm. put it here. And then like when you oh, was a kid, with a, oh no, 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 no hand, no. and like a coin and with the paper and you do the quick movement. Like when you was a kid, you remember you have this yeah. coin yeah. and yeah. then you take a pencil case. Okay, I think this looks good. Okay, so... Voila! So you have your own calligraphy writing. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. You can write down your name, you can write down your uh, signature and then you can bring back home. Yes, this is something Thank you. everybody can do here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but beautiful butterflies, they are beautiful different kind of birds. We have every year here a lot of, even in the Twin Pavilion, we have a lotus pound. There's a duck from Europe come all the way here. Ducks, real ducks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is beautiful. You can see how beautiful. We also have books if you want. We have a forgiving pagoda. There's a few horns of English. So if you're interested in Chinese story, there's also a very Chinese. Even here, we also have translation. Yeah, yeah I, I have a look, but I think all of the story I don't know. <laughs> Here we are at Moon World. Cauchon? Cauchon, yes. Cauchon. Sounds a bit French then, Cauchon. <laughs> Very interesting uh, formation of the rock, of the land, isn't it? And you said it's because it's too salty for. Mm -hmm. 
anything to grow. Very peaceful. Completely different from the cities. It's almost like you're looking at mountains in a distance, but close up. Yeah. Very weird feeling. Yeah. Very surreal. We just climbed all those stairs. 30 plus degree weather, massive humidity, but a great payoff. What a view. Kaohsiung and Moonwild. It's amazing how far it goes on for, considering how far the city looked like it went on for. It looked like the cities go on forever when we're up on the 25th floor, but very, very green. And now we can walk down with no stairs. I found myself a cute flower. Here we are at another temple of a different religion. I think she said it's called Dao. Um, and uh, she told me a little bit about it, about making humans into gods. Um, and by doing good things and nice things. And when you die, you can become a god. But I think it sounds a little bit like becoming a saint in Christianity. But it looks it's very, very intricate. It looks very, very uh, Chinese, I think. But I'll find out off Hazel and see what she has to say. To visit all the uh, uh, people for food, um, if those people are giving them, giving the followers, are giving out everybody meat, mm -hmm. that that's allowed to eat because um, Buddha will say this is not meat. This is their sharing. It's a gift. Their a gift. Uh, uh, their kindness to you. So you have to eat that. It doesn't matter, so you don't have to have be a vegetarian to be a Buddhist. As long as you get free meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you want to interpret it in that way, because uh, a lot of... Can you just tell me a little bit more about this? You said it was Dao? Dao. Dao. Okay. Dao. We spell it as T-A-O. Okay. Dao. Dao. Okay. Yeah. And you said about water for prosperity? Yeah, prosperity. Yeah. But I think this is more for preparation. Preparation, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Each of them has a number. That's a number. This is number eleven. Okay. Okay. So uh, maybe you have a, 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 a problem that you want to seek for advice, and you ask the Buddha. You ask the God. Yeah, the God. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then, and then you can. One and maybe on the number you go to this, and it tells you, it tells you the answer. Um, this is like that number 31, and there's a poem there. And you will you can go to people who who knows how to interpret it, this, okay? Yeah, basically, that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, yeah. That's interesting, right? Yeah, so you, you ask him a question, and yeah. he will. Tell you through in, through yeah. these one of these mm -hmm. poems. Mm -hmm. How many are there? It's a lot, right? Uh, there are seventy. Seven. 
70 different outcomes for every possible question. 60. 60. 60. Some of them have 76. And this lady over here is asking him questions and throwing them on the yeah. floor to yeah. see what answer she gets. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I like this dude's facial hair. Mm. He is cool. For, for get this gentleman, he is a barber, so um, he was uh, very um, obsessed with hair. Yeah, he looks <laughs> cool. I like it. I like what he's about. I'm giving him a compliment. Yeah. Buddhism and Taoism. So they got Buddha. Buddha. Okay. All the same in the Buddhist history. Ah, okay. So in Taiwan we are like mixed. a mix. That's better than fighting. Right? Yeah. Embrace embrace the religions rather than fighting over them. Yeah. Come for dinner, no idea what we've ordered. What have we got here then? What's this called? Your beef, what's this called? Beef noodle. Beef noodle, but what's the Cantonese? Uh, Mandarin. Shut up, you. Shut up, you. What's it? Neuro. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Nyoro? 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 Men. Nyoro men. Men. Men's noodle. <laughs> oh my god. It's always one. Where is it here? I see a day. It's only like, um, it's like. 12, 14 of them under 16. Okay. We're heading down to a uh, slick barber shop with my main man, my barber brother. And look at that. Boom. People like to sit on the bench. It's like, hey, here we are at the cool barber shop. Very cool, man. Let's head inside. Wow, man. You know what I'm talking about? This is one cool barbershop. Yeah. I want to make people think that, well, this isn't a real thing. You know, it's not just uh, try to pretend you're a cool barbershop. No, I will try to make it. Very, very cool, man. Yeah, look at that. There it is. In all its glory. Can I cut this one? Where are we now? This is another slick barber shop. Actually, this is the number one slick barber shop. Number one. Number one. Number one slick barber shop. Check this out. This is a whole different thing when you get it. Whoa. War in the house. Ryan! <laughs> hey boys! Hey! How's it going? This is Ryan, this is Ocean. Yeah. And this is our Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so you can feel totally different atmosphere. Yeah. Back there we were doing like a gentleman haircut. And here is all the brothers, the boys that like cheer out with you. Beers. Oh man. Talking garbage. <laughs> no problem. 
Very cool, man. And this is our smoking lounge. Ah, cool. Very cool. Smoking lounge. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Such a cool place, man. And I never abandoned for music or the volume. Just blow the house. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Here we are at Slick's Barbershop, Taiwan. The boy's working hard. Yeah. Here's my boy. Oh. <laughs> and here's War, the War Machine. Yeah. This guy's also, if you see in the video earlier on in this video, you'll see his rap band on stage at the show a couple of days ago. So not only is he a, a, a top barber, but he's also a rapper too. Slick. And that face is sick. That face is sick. <laughs> this is the man, Lewis. The man behind it all, the brain behind it all. Supervising. You're doing your supervising, sorry to interrupt. Very good. Job well done, right? All of them doing jobs well done. Hi, <laughs> ready. ready. So where are we now, Lewis? Well, this is the latest currently. The newest Slick 3. Slick 3. Next, next month we're gonna have Slick 4. Slick 4. These lights are cool, man. I like the barber lights. Hey, are these the haircuts you do here, yeah, right? They yeah. have a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, go take a quick look inside, man. Uh, before we put that barber chair in here and in here, People in this neighborhood think, hey, you're going to open a bar here. He said, no, 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 we're going to a barber shop. He said, no, it's a bar. It's 100% like a bar. This is a bar, right? Yes, man. So this is basically the idea. We want to make barber, uh, like haircut of three hours. First hour that you have for your appointment at seven, you come here at six, you sit here and it's like, hey, can I have a coffee or a beer? And then you relax, you're out talking to the ladies. And then when you get like, mmm, like fun, relax. Hey, seven o'clock is your haircut. And then you have good time with your, your barber. And then you still don't want to go home. Go home right? I don't want to go home and go back and I have another shot. Sure, why not? That's a three hour thing. Sounds good, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, this one. Silly question. <laughs> and this guy. And this guy. This guy, when we saw this one, it's pretty big, it's pretty expensive, but funny thing is me and Hank and the Shane, we look at that and say, this is the one to be slick big. Because most of barber shop, they have something that is small. It's yeah, like this is big. That lovely lady, she is not just looking lovely and sexy. She's a one hell of a female father. Very good father. Look at that. Excellent, man. Excellent. Excellent. The barber surgeon. Yeah, the barber surgeon. And we're gonna make his new life. And that's my crazy Dr. Hank over there. <laughs> so when the guy's downstairs wearing like a shirt and vest, and this guy's always wearing like a rock and roll star. Rock and roll, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.